Dear March, come in, how glad I am. I hoped for you before. Why, hello there. Welcome back to the Nook and happy spooky season. Yay, it's spooky season. Woohoo! Excitement. <laughs> So it's the first day of October, nothing terribly exciting has happened so far. I was feeling a little bit low, so I had some much needed self-care time in the bath. It was lovely. Let's run you down what should be happening for the rest of this month, because that went so well last month. <laughs> I don't know, I did find it quite funny to see what I said. I was going to do at the beginning of the month and get to the end of the month and looking through all the footage and see how many things I actually did do and did not do <laughs> and how many times I changed my mind about things. It's quite, it's quite fascinating for myself, I'm sure none of you care as much. <laughs> anyway, it's spooky season. We take spooky season very seriously around here. The big thing that's going to be running all the way through this month, for real this time, is my art challenge with my friend Hannah Locke. We're doing a Spooktober, hashtag Spooktober, hashtag Spooklats drawing challenge. And there's a prompt for every day. Hannah has set all the prompts for the even days that I'll be doing. And I have set all the prompts for the odd days that Hannah will be doing. So this time for real, I've got an actual legit schedule. I need to do a drawing for every second day of the month. Oh, and of course I've got uni, which has been a lot of work. It's been very interesting. Um, not quite what I expected, but I also didn't know what I was really expecting. So that should be fun. I've got videos. Ooh, we're going to York. At the end of this month, we should be going to York to do a ghost hunt. And I'm so excited about it. <laughs> so freaking excited we haven't gone on holiday in literally years <laughs> well there was like lockdown for two years since we started living together me and the boyfriend but also i just haven't gone on holiday much at all previous to that as well so we'll be going to york for a couple of nights which i'm so 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 so, so terribly excited for and yeah look forward to that spooky season baby whether that spook comes from actual fun spooky things or just the sheer amount of things that i've decided to do hope you enjoyed the ride okay Saturday, the 2nd October, which means it's my turn to do Spooktober. And the prompt that Hannah has set for today is Pumpkin Prince. This year for Spooktober, I'm gonna keep it simple, keep it small, keep it sweet. You know, as well as I do, that I tend to have a habit of making things overly complicated and much more massive than they need to be. Reference Luna Quartz project. And I'm really busy and I don't have the time to do a whole situation so we're gonna keep it straight to the point and fun and sweet and spooky so one of our uni assignments for this week is to make a five minute ish presentation analyzing the timeline and cultural context around a piece of art of our own choosing and boy i hope they don't ask me to present this right after lunch <laughs> Somebody, how 
morning. <laughs> it is Wednesday, which is the main uni teaching day. And they have kindly scheduled a webinar an hour before the normal teaching time. So I have to attend the webinar at nine in the morning, but I really didn't want to spend my mobile data attending a webinar on the train. <laughs> So I had to get up this morning at what the technical term is, the ass crack of dawn. Get on a train really early and here I am. <gasps> I now understand the people who get Starbucks every morning before work because that was the only option available to me because I was too tired to prepare any breakfast. And it's autumn, and I'll be honest, I've always been quite intrigued by the pumpkin spice latte thing <laughs> at Starbucks. It sounds nice, but I've always been a bit too nervous to order it because I've read too many tragic barista stories on the internet. But then, this morning, when I was ordering my tea, big proper big man with a beard and everything came strolling in and went one pumpkin latte please <laughs> and I was like you know what if that man feels absolutely comfortable ordering a pumpkin spice latte then fuck it next time I'm gonna get myself one too <laughs> just to see what the fuss is about <laughs> So another uni day done. They did not ask me to do my Artemisia Gentileschi presentation after lunch. No, they asked me to go first. <laughs> so if anyone was still half asleep at the beginning of the lesson, they weren't by the end. It went really, really well though. I got really super passionate because I'm very passionate about Gentileschi and that painting and I think that passion registered. Thursday. The rest of this week is gonna be relatively uneventful because I've just got a massive fuck off ridiculously complex drawing to do for Black History Month due for Wednesday but I gotta probably finish it for Tuesday because I gotta go take it to be scanned because it's gonna be a big one and I only have an A4 scanner eh. and interspersed with that are some spook lads drawings so Here's to hopefully not getting an RSI. I hoped for you before 
far. Put down, Put your, down hat. your hat. You must have walked. How out, How out of breath you are. Dear Marge, how are you? And the rest, did you leave nature well? I've been literally drawing all day, <laughs> 10 hours, almost straight. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> and I thought, oh, we'll order some food, but the food never arrived. <laughs> so now I'm running on the fuel of two brioche spam sandwiches and cake and tea now. So I guess that ain't bad. <laughs> But yeah, it is 10 to 9 now, and the boyfriend's gone out with his mates. So I have nothing better to do than to finish this cake and keep on drawing, I guess. <laughs> Riveting, glamorous life. So I've been posting updates of how this drawing is coming along on Instagram and Matthew Ford of Antique Steel very excitedly asked me if there are going to be any swords in this drawing and at first I was like, ah, I don't know, I don't know if I want to include weapons in this drawing because I don't know but then I thought, hang on, this is a swashbuckling story they're, they're at sea fighting Spanish, getting into scrapes, stealing things they're essentially sanctioned thieves and Diego died of battle wounds. It's... Weapons are definitely appropriate. So I asked Matthew to supply me with some sword examples and he is an absolute star. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna have a sword. And a historically accurate sword at that. So yeah, cheers Matt and um go follow him if you like looking at swords. Those hills you left for me to you. There was no purple suitable. You took it all with you. After you took my heart and sauteed it in pepper After you pushed me away like I was a leper After you I did it. I got the no, pumpkin spice latte. It's alright. I don't mind it. I wouldn't order it again. It's a weird time to remember that I don't like cinnamon. <laughs> What an anticlimactic end to the saga. Brought you shame after you threw all my books out of the house in the yard in the rain. After you kicked me out. So that building there, that is Margaret Street. That's the Birmingham School of Art, and the reason why I came over here to this campus is one yes it's a lovely building but also that's where the intaglio print workshop is and you know aqua tint and hard ground etching is one of the main reasons why i wanted to do an ma and um one of the tutors after seeing my black history month project said well you need to go and take this drawing and show justin <laughs> over in margaret street and i was like okay I guess I'll go do that. And so I did just that. And oh my God, yes, the building is so much cooler. Everything about this campus is so much cooler than the new campus. 
But more importantly, this, these are my people. These are my people. I finally have found my people. Print people are my people. The first word I spoke to anyone in there, I instantly recognized their vibe. It took me straight back to the print room back in Cambridge, which is just one of my happy places when I was doing my BA. And everyone was just so ridiculously lovely and wonderful. And I'm so excited to be doing more print work. And this campus is actually way closer to the train station. And in fact, I'm actually going back to Birmingham tomorrow at 10 in the morning to do uh, health and safety induction so I can start using the print room with the dust cloud generator and the acids and the metal and the really really ridiculously nice people and I'm so excited I'm so excited I'm going to be waking up early again for the second time in a row in a week for that that's how excited I am okay Ugh, I can't wait. I can't wait to do more appetent. I can't wait to do more printmaking. I can't wait to do etching. Oh, it's so cool. It's so freaking cool. Still some people who think you're fantastic. The grocery store still lets you choose between paper or plastic. The cordial difference of the world. I guess I'll always be. But it would be nice if everyone felt the same way about you as me You're now, you're now in my vlog, Hannah. Hello. Hello, it's Hannah. <laughs> I'll be walking yeah, around just true. pulling faces and things, and then suddenly I turn around and I'm being recorded. I, I'll cut that bit out. <laughs> this is my friend Hannah, who we haven't seen each other in two years. Oh, I don't know how to <laughs> camera. <Yeah. laughs> that was clearly my, my reaction to seeing Alex. <laughs> well, I don't know how to camera. <laughs> Chambers as the cedars impregnable of eye and for an everlasting roof the gambrels of the sky. <gasps> He's shaking in fear. Been berating me, saying, Oh, because we're coming. This is like the last day of the ghost hunt. He's just been saying that this trip is pointless. We won't see any ghosts. It's all right, I'm still having fun. I mean, it renders the trip useless. Shh, it doesn't render the trip useless. This Only our objective is ghost hunting. It's literally a lost cause. It's not a lost it's cause. The definition. It's not. It's because the, the true say, ghosts are the friends we make along the way. If you look up in a dictionary, it would say that trip Alice and I went on. <laughs> no, I refuse. 
I'm having fun. <laughs> uh, my mission to <laughs> annihilate that positivity. <laughs> This is probably a good place to explain what on earth are we on about. <laughs> so the thing that prompted this trip is that there is this really neat shop here in York called the York Ghost Merchants and they sell these little ghosts. I've always wanted one but the online ghosts are mega expensive. They have a brick and mortar shop here in York that sell cheaper ghosts but also once a year around Halloween they organize a ghost hunt. It's four nights, each night they leave a hundred ghosts around York City Centre between 6 and 8 p.m. And if you find one, you get to keep it for free! And that's why we're here, to do the ghost hunt and to see York while we're at it. Do we come in? What's happening? Huh? Wait to be admitted. You're here for map as well. Yeah, <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. We are ghost hunting in the rain. <laughs> and I was very happy with this development. <laughs> But yeah, so we have not, we've managed to procure a map by taking the picture of a phone screen of a fellow ghost hunter. <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much! <laughs> She's given us a map! It's you so know? aesthetic. It's so aesthetic. I wish I had one. Oliver, would you like to be our map reader? Yeah, go on then. I mean, I'm gonna get it wet, so actually. All right. Okay. Be... So Hannah. Oh no. Oh no. How Maybe do we do this? Umbrella. I can hold the umbrella. Ragamuffins. <laughs> Ragamuffins. Important guidelines. One ghost. Okay. Right, so, so look we at. Just have to follow. Oh, what what's happening the there? Five very confusing minutes later. No, I'm. Uh, oh, hold it. Right, let's let's just look. Thank you. I feel very much in control now. <laughs> you must have walked. Yeah, they'll be in like nooks and crannies and stuff. And the rest did you leave a name? Well, there are a hundred every night. Oh, March, come right upstairs with me. I have so much to tell. I got your letter. Oh, wow, that's so aesthetic. The maples never knew that you were coming. I think if there are like bushes that are like, they'll be in a bush. <laughs> and all no. the I was like, I've lost peeps. <laughs> there was no they were like reptiles in a video game. They were like hardest to reach places. They were yeah. on the roofs somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's too high. Yeah. I think we have to go hardcore and get all the way up. Yeah, you have to go all Nathan Drake on them. Yeah. Ghost hunt is on, and we're making our way to the York Minster to attempt to find ghosts because we foolishly wandered around the shambles for ages before we realized it's that. And then? And then? And um, then? Dot dot dot. And then? Oliver very intelligently. Oliver very intelligently deciphered, deciphered the clues. The clues that were on the map. That were on the map. That led us to be on our way to the York Minster. Yes. To Poundland. <laughs> so we're going to Poundland. <laughs> yes. And um, there are a hundred ghosts out tonight. We like we should be looking the whole time. There might be ones just hiding around here. Nah I don't feel it. You don't feel it? No. Nope. You don't feel the presence no, of ghosts? No my spider sense is not tingling. Ah, uh, 
at sea. Let's see. Yeah, it's a bit too sea. Sea, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, all the peeps with flashlights are hunting for ghosts. <laughs> Come on, little ghosties. <laughs> It comes to me. See, but that's like the technique. If you're looking for something. Part of the problem is all of the leaves that are like they, they could be very good. Maybe that's part of the trick. Yeah, the treat. <laughs> what if the ghost is inside that bottle of alcohol? All these properly. <laughs> oh wow. Look at all the people searching for ghosts. They could be looking for other stuff, we don't know. What else are they looking for? Um, fortune, fame, who knows? Uh, those are synonymous with ghosts? You're a ghost merchant. I am in fact a ghost merchant. <laughs> and yay! Yeah, and this is all the queue and yes. it's a three hour wait. Yes, and that's our best guess. We haven't timed it exactly. So we have quite a few people all here and ready to buy ghosts. Oh, that's lovely. I was gonna get one, but I don't think um, I might not stay in here. I understand completely. But it's always next time. Absolutely. I did join the hunt yesterday. Oh, wonderful. Did you have any luck? No, we did not have much luck. Because I could not stop for death. He kindly stopped for me The carriage held but just ourselves And immortality We slowly drove He knew no haste And I had put Away my labor and my leisure too for his civility. We passed the school where children stroll at recess in the ring. We passed the fields of gazing grain We passed the setting sun Or rather, he passed us The dews drew quivering and chill For only God's Whoa! What's happening here? Whoa! What is that? Uh huh. Prints and stuff like that—the wood prints that they did. Oh, shall so we? Basically, like in I think it was the Edo period. Yeah. I could be wrong on the periods, but yeah, like the floating world was used to describe like all of the sort of the pleasure centres that were built up, like when uh, basically like merchants like basically just got loads of money and they could spend all their money on like paintings and art and you know yeah. institutes and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. So yeah the floating world is that's that's like the kind of term that they use and so there's all those like wood prints from that time.
four o'clock that day, we went to a Van Gogh projection exhibition, which had a real life recreation of his bedroom painting, which I thought was really cool. And the rest of the show is basically projections of animations of his paintings all over the walls of the St. Mary Church. And I thought the juxtaposition between the painting and the church architecture was really, really cool. The music, as well as the quotes from his letters that they chose to read out, really enhances the mood and helps tell the story. At this point, we've also been on our feet for like six hours, so it's just really nice to have a little sit down and relax and enjoy some art. We have finally got boba! All of our first boba experience. So I got matcha with brown sugar, boba, and grass jelly. And Oliver got chocolate with strawberry jelly and strawberry pearls. Stop it! Go for it! It's for the fans. <laughs> whatever it's the, whatever you found inside is the same. Yes, nice. Yay! Boba, boba, yeah, boba. I'm boba, praise boba, indeed. Boba, boba. Praise be to the Boba Lords! I'm very happy right now. So it's our last morning in York. We had a lovely, lovely time, didn't we all? It was excellent. It was excellent, he said. And um, yeah, we found a tiny little ghost. Yay! Hopefully next time we'll be able to find a ghost that we can take home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling there's some lone ghost just hanging around the area that no one's found yet. Yeah. It's, it's not all cold and oh, wet. Hiding shaking. under the leaves. Yes. <laughs> oh. Looking for a home. Oh, I hope someone give them a home. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna go and uh, do some nerdy shopping. Hopefully find a cute little souvenir. Because I know commercialism and materialism and all that, but I would like a souvenir. But yeah, that sums up our trip and sums up this vlog. Hope you enjoyed watching. Bye. Say bye. Sorry, too.